to get started to create a Microsoft Flow or Power Automate. I've just selected it here for my menu of Power Automate there. You can also go to flow.microsoft.com, um, I believe. But nevertheless, we're here. We're here in Power Automate. And what we want to do is create a new flow. So we can create a flow by scratch, from scratch, and you can see here. But, but I'm going to go ahead and use a template for this example. And I want to look for something related to Planner. Now, again, I'm going to put in Planner here. I'm going to hit Go. And then I'm going to select this one right here, number 5001. And I'm going to say Add Planner Tasks on a weekly basis. This will allow me to create a spreadsheet that will easily be able to share with, with others to report on what it is that I'm doing. And so I'm just going to go ahead and click Continue. Now, one of the requirements for this is that we define a table. So we have to actually build a table in order to use this function. So let's go ahead and look at the table and see what we need to do. And I've created one here called Lush Tasks. So we're just going to go ahead and open that up. And I've gone ahead and filled in these headers here inside of this column and see other videos on converting spreadsheets into tables. But essentially, just write out the columns and then say format as a table. It's really not that tough. And here, I've put in this information title, when it's due, when it's to start, when it's completed, what the percentage done is, and what the user is. I can put in as many fields as I want. And it's important that you remember this step because these fields right here that we have, these columns within our table, are going to be the columns that are available for us to plug information into um, inside of Power Apps. So I'm just going to close that and I'm going to go back over to Power Apps. <clears throat> and here I want to show what the frequency is, right? I want it to come out once a week. I can do advanced options here as well. And I'm just going to choose that I want that report on every Friday. And at, for example, I want it coming to me at 8 o'clock in the morning. And I can put in what time is, right? So at 8 a.m. every morning, it's going to come to me, right? Every week. And then I don't have to do anything here. But here, I do have to do some things. I need to figure out where my file is. It's in OneDrive, so I'm good to go there. And then I'm going to select OneDrive. I'm going to click on this folder here. And I'm going to wander on out to those tasks, right? So planner tasks, excuse me, to the spreadsheet called Lush Tasks. And I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to say which table I want to go. Now, if I had multiple tables, then I would select another table. But I just have one, so it's pretty simple. And now notice here that I have a title and a date. So it automatically filled that in because it had asked me to put in title and do and it plugged it in, but I, I want to put in some additional information. And so this is really pretty easy. A start date, I'm just going to search for that data value start date. And then completed, I'm just going to put it in. Okay, value complete date. Now um, we put that in. And then percentage, I can just put in percentage, value, percentage. And then user, I just type in user. Whoops, <laughs> wrong place. I type in user. And I'm just going to put here value created by user. And then I'm just going to hit save. So this is pretty easy so far, right? We just hit save. And it's going to save this out for us. And now it's saved. And so we can go back to my flows and look at it right here. Add planner. And we can actually run that right now, but I'm going to edit it one last time. I always like to, to look at things and make sure I've done it right. So I'm going to abbreviate this so I know what it means. Planner tasks. All right. And here I'm just going to put in something that I will know. Weekly task report planners, planner to Excel. And I'm just going to go, I'm going to, whoops, hit enter, hit save. And then I'm going to go back. And then now weekly task report planner to Excel. And notice that it's running. And it's running because 
I just created it. But I could, if I go to my flows, I could, you see this little button right here? If I wanted to run it just in general, I could hit run and it would run it as well. So this flow actually will take a few minutes depending upon the number of tasks you have. It, I've seen them take 5, 10, 15 minutes sometimes. Mm -hmm.